You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update and today one of the drivers in the 695 crash that killed six construction workers last year is set to be sentenced. Malachi Brown pleaded guilty to six counts of manslaughter. Reports say he was going 122 miles per hour on the highway right before the crash. He is expected to get 18 months behind bars. The other driver, Lisa Lee, is expected to go on trial next month. A local artist is memorializing the victims of the key bridge collapse and the loss of that bridge. Juliet Ames is known as the salt box lady in Baltimore. She decorates the yellow salt boxes you see around the city. Her latest design has a close up image of the key bridge and the words Baltimore strong. It's on display right now at the key brewing company in Dundalk, along with six yellow flowers for each worker killed in the collapse. And today is opening day at Camden Yards. The team will be doing a moment of silence to honor the victims of the bridge collapse right before they take on the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch is at 3.05. Happy Thursday, everyone. On this opening day, we could experience a few rain showers right around the time of first pitch. Closer to the seventh inning stretch, temperatures are still going to be ranging in the lower 50s. We do gradually start to dry out our skies as we progress throughout the game, especially right around the final out. We are looking at drier air working in 60 degrees tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds. Winds will start to increase as we head into the upcoming weekend. We still will stay pretty stagnant in the 60s, dealing with a few isolated rain chances on your Saturday. So the pick of the weekend looks to be Easter Sunday and then looking unsettled as we head into early next week. Megan. Stevie, thanks. Stay with WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, you can download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.